Hello and welcome to Bombs. We're delighted to um, be involved with Guns on Pegs, World Gun Maker event. And my name is David Williams. I'm in charge of the Anti-Guns and Armour and Modern Sporting Guns Department here at Bonhams, together with my colleague, William Threlfall. And um, this is to tell you a little bit about ourselves. Uh, we typically hold two sales a year in each category, and they take place in May and November. Uh, the sales are very varied, and I'll give you a little synopsis of what we have here on the table in a moment. Um, we, the sales are held, as I say, twice a year, and we typically have a lead-in date of something like two months before each sale, although really and truly we're taking entries all the time. Uh, in front of me here on the table, I have um, a little over and under flintlock silver mounted pocket pistol by Joseph Egg. It's silver hallmark for 1814 and um, beautifully made with gold inlay, which is slightly unusual. These pistols are often referred to as baby eggs by collectors due to their little tiny size, as you can see. Uh, the pistol is going to be in sale, as I say, in September, and it's going to have an estimate of eight to 10,000. Um, we've been very privileged to um, have consigned to us a collection uh, of long guns and pistols. The little baby egg is one of those pistols, and amongst the percussion uh, firearms, there is a, this case pair of Purdy dueling or target pistols made in 1831. Uh, they were formerly in the collection of Dr. Robert Lebet, and these will have an estimate of 15 to 20,000. Um, that's really it from me, so I'm going to hand over to my colleague, William, who will tell you about some of the highlights that he's managed to gather together for our uh, December sale, 3rd of December sale. Over to you, William. Thank you, David. Um, as David kindly mentioned, our next sale in Modern Sporting Guns will be held on the 3rd of December, and that will include a selection of uh, antique arms and armour as well. Um, really, the sale is mostly going to be involving shotguns, rifles, pistols, uh, shooting accessories, and some other sporting ephemera. Um, and it's really going to include anything from the very small, like this charming single barreled 28 bore hammer gun made by James Purdy in 1877 for Prince Dilip Singh through to the very large, like this four-bore, double-barrelled, uh, wildfowling gun. Um, <clears throat> besides those slightly more unusual examples, we'll have a more varied uh, selection of guns by the finest British, European and American gun makers. Uh, for instance, this pair of 12-bore Purdy guns, uh, beautifully inlaid and gold engraved by Ken Hunt. Other examples will be uh, this pair of Boss guns made just after the First World War in what was considered to be the golden age of English gun making. Um, we'll also have examples by Holland and Holland, such as this uh, 12 ball Royal side lock ejector. And not to be outdone, um, we'll have some fine examples from Scotland, such as this round action ejector made by John Dixon, one of the uh, finest of the Scottish gun makers. Aside from these highlights, we'll also have in the sale a uh, rare and unusual collection of hammer guns, uh, a lot of modern sporting rifles, um, and a variety of modern over and unders as well. Uh, as I said, if you are interested in hearing any more about any of the guns we've discussed today, or if you're interested in consigning for our sale, do catch us in the contact details below, or find us on Instagram at bonhams underscore guns. Thank you. Thank you.